Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Capture One updated Capture One 22 to build 15.2.0. In this video, we're going to take a look at what's new and exciting in this, the latest version of Capture One 22. This update includes new camera and lens support. I'll have that listed in the description below this video. Now, the more significant updates to this application are found in the lens group. So go to lens and you'll notice that the keystone tool has been redesigned. Most notably, there is an auto function. So when you're presented with an image such as this, it looks like the building is falling backwards. I used a wide angle lens when I captured this image you could go to the Keystone tool and just click on Auto. And when you do, it will automatically straighten it. Now, unfortunately, I didn't leave enough space at the bottom of the image, so it cut off the bottom. Well, what you could do is you could lessen the amount of the correction with the amount slider. This is new as well, so I could come in and take this amount slider and just pull it back until I get the bottom of the building in there. So it's very convenient now, and you could um, do these corrections much faster. Um, I'm going to undo that. Click undo. Another change they made to the Keystone tool is they've improved the um, vertical and horizontal guidelines. So if you don't want to use auto but instead want to use the guidelines, you could place these much easier than you could have done in the past. For example, I'll click on these vertical ones and you see we have these two vertical lines. Now the circles are pretty large, so I could come in now and grab one of these circles and then I could take these lines and put them on some verticals that are in the scene that should be perfectly vertical, like the edges of this part of the building. And once I do that and I'm satisfied that they look good, I could click apply. And when you click apply, it will straighten it out. And then when you're um, satisfied that you know, it did a good job. Just go up here and click off of the Keystone Vertical tool by clicking on, let's say, the Select tool. And then we're kind of right back where we started when I used Auto. Well, we could come in with that Auto or the Amount Slider again and just back it off. And so it is falling back a little bit, and that's all my fault as the photographer. I didn't leave enough space at the bottom of the image. Uh, to be able to do a proper keystone correction. But actually, to me, that looks pretty, um, pretty good, and I think that's satisfactory. Now, some other changes they did uh, to this tool beside that, they now have it in two tabs. I was in the Guides tab. If you just want to come in and do this manually altogether, I'll reset it again. You could go to the Sliders tab, and with the Sliders tab, you could correct it vertically with the vertical slider. And if it needed any horizontal collection, you could, correction, you could do that as well with that slider. It has a new slider called Skew, so you could actually skew the image if you need to. In this case, it doesn't need it. And it has, of course, the Aspect slider, which kind of scrunches it vertically uh, with that. So uh, you could come in and move the sliders individually. So the Keystone tool has been totally redesigned in this um, release of Capture One 22. The other thing is uh, they've improved the um, auto straighten feature, uh, made it more effective. In this image, you can see it's very slightly crooked. The auto straighten feature is found under the rotation and flip tool, and it's right here. It's this little magic wand, and if I click on that, you'll see it automatically straighten the image. So if you have an image that has a very discernible um, horizon in it, this new auto feature should work much more effectively. And finally, the other significant update, I guess you, if you want to call that, is in the crop tool. Um, in the crop tool now, uh, when you open it up, uh, if you go to, let's say, ratio, and you pick, let's say, a 3 to 4, in the past, when you pick this, 
it would give you the crop handles and you actually had to kind of nudge them a little bit for it to get into this ratio. Now it just automatically goes to whatever ratio you pick. So it does that a lot, um, like automatically, I guess you could say, which you kind of would have thought it would have done anyway, but it didn't, I guess. From what I understand, I actually don't remember, but I guess in the past, um, if you did pick a new ratio, it would just sit there and you actually had to come in and, and nudge a handle for it to kick in. So now it does it automatically um, as well. So those are the more significant changes to Capture 122. Again, this is build 15.2.0. Um, in the description below this video, again, I will have a list of the new camera and lens support. And that's it. That's Capture One. 22. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.